a group of demonstrators calling for a ceasefire in Gaza rallied outside the Navy ship, known as the USNS Harvey Milk, in San Francisco. On March 29th, the new fueling and supply vessel was expected to leave San Francisco for Virginia, but protesters chained themselves to the vessel as part of an ongoing call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Protest organizers said they planned the event as part of their ongoing call for a ceasefire in the now six-month war between Israel and Hamas. The United Nations Security Council successfully passed a ceasefire resolution without a U.S. veto. They have consistently vetoed these ceasefire resolutions until now, said Wasim Haga with the Arab Resource Organizing Center. And we believe this is a direct impact caused by movements made by people of conscience. Organizers added they say they chose the ship because they heard reports it was headed to the Middle East, and House Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi was going to be in the ship for a special event. The ceremony aboard the USNS Harvey Milk had already wrapped up, and Pelosi had already left the scene as demonstrators were able to get to the ship. On board the ship, Pelosi did address some of the issues from protesters, noting that President Joe Biden has also been pushing for a ceasefire and for funding for humanitarian aid to people in Gaza. Pelosi also sharply rebuked recent reports that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will be invited by the Republican Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, to address Congress. Netanyahu will not have the agreement of our House Democrats to speak before Congress. It would be disgraceful, she said. According to the crew of the Harvey Milk, the ship is not headed for the Middle East, and instead, it's headed to its new home port in Virginia, where it's scheduled for trials. It won't be entering service for about two years. Friday's special send-off was intended to celebrate her namesake. Milk was a naval officer before coming to San Francisco. Milk's former aide, Anne Cronenberg, said the vessel will carry on Milk's legacy of hope. This ship is going to be going to places that have huge discrimination against lesbian and gay people. And so, to see the name, you sent is Harvey Milk, on the side of a ship, I think it give hope to us, it's going to give hope to the world, she said. As per media reports, the United States has green-lighted the transfer of a new Tor Paul Bien weapons package, comprising bombs and fighter jets, to Israel. Despite expressing concern about civilian casualties in Gaza, the White House arms package includes more than Yenis Tonin hundred in code dot four two thousand pound bombs and five hundred in in case O D two five hundred pound bombs, according to Pentagon and Department of State officials. Many leaders and human rights activists around the world have criticized the U.S. for sending more arms to Israel, especially as the Benjamin Netanyahu government promises to dismantle Hamas.